Hey fragrance family, how's everybody doing? Hopefully you are smelling well this Saturday. Um, it's early morning. I threw on my Mario t-shirt. Uh, nothing too fancy today. Uh, I have my morning coffee. It's super early. But I have this amount of time right now to shoot videos today. And it was either don't shoot a video or shoot a small video that's super small. Um, and this idea just came to me. Um, I like to surprise you guys with my reviews just once it's done. I don't like telling you guys what's in the queue just because as you guys know, if you're a long time subscriber of mine, I'm going to tell you guys what I'm working on and what happens is that goes left field. Um, in the past few years on my channel, I've been uh, going seasonal based um, and I'm sure you've noticed that if you're a long time subscriber, once it's like summer um, in Canada. I tend to go in my queue list. My queue list is, I'll tell you guys a little bit about my reviewing style. There's a testing phase. Testing phase is not in the queue list. Testing phase is just, that is what it is. It's a, uh, basically it's a folder on my computer. I've got, no joke, hundreds of fragrances that I'm testing. Every day, if I test a fragrance, let's say um, I want to review Acier Aluminium by Creed, okay? I decide today that I want to review this fragrance sometime in the future in my fragrance reviews. Um, choosing a fragrance, first of all, to go into the testing phase, it basically goes with my Q, my Q number. Um, that folder has all the fragrances seasonal based. Um, basically, in order, as the fragrance is basically done the testing phase. So number one has been on the Q list for years. It's been a while. It's been waiting its turn. It's finally number one. But if that's, that is a winter-based fragrance and we're in the spring, it's not going to get reviewed until we get into the fall, basically. Um, so anyway, um, when I decide to make a fragrance uh, review, I look at my cue list and I say, oh, I got, you know, so many designers, so many niche ready to go uh, for winter, or cold weather and warm weather. So I look at that and I say, ooh, there's a little gap here. There's like missing, you know, I, I want to get a good, um, my cue list, I want it to be fair, right? I want to have like... 25% summer, 25% spring, so on and so forth. And that goes with designer niche, I want half and half. I kind of want to make it, you know, good for you guys as a, view, a viewer. You're going to see a lot of, you know, niche and designer every every season. Anyway, so I see Illuminum um, already in my mind. I believe that this fragrance, again, um, it, it this hasn't hit the testing phase yet. Um, I would say probably this would be like a fall, springtime fragrance. Um, so. I would put in that kind of testing phase then it starts testing testing can take from one year to almost two years it'll stay in the testing phase just because i'm testing so many fragrances some fragrances have been in there for a long long time case in point black afghano i've i've owned black afghano i've been testing black afghano since i've owned the bottle i've been very very much eager to review black afghano but a lot of my favorites haven't been reviewed yet just because of that anyway so the cue the queue is about 100 long right now, which is usually the, the number I like to do. Um, so a fragrance like um, Avignon by Comme des Garçons, this fragrance right here, has been on the queue list for years. Years! If you've been a follower of mine, you know that Avignon, I've, I think the past two years I've been saying I'm going to review it, it's going to go on my channel. I'm excited to review it, but the thing is, is there's fragrances ahead of that. Um, I like to organize my stuff, as you can as you can see. It might sound jumbled to you guys, but it's very much organized, big time. Anyway, so now we're getting into the fall in Canada. Summer's pretty much done. Leaves are starting to fall. Um, yes, I don't have my summer top 20 summer list, but I'm working on them. Um, and fall's coming right after that. Anyway, so I'm at the end. Now these summer fragrances that I was deciding to review, um, those go back into the queue list. There was fragrances that were like Selection Valt by Creed. I really wanted to review that. It's ready. Um, it's on top of my list. But now that summer and spring's over, I put it back in the queue list. Next year, hopefully I'll tackle it. So now I've put all my fall fragrances up top on the list. They've been waiting. And this is where I'm at right now. And this is the point of this video is uh, to show you guys what I'm working on. I don't like doing this because then it kind of gives some people false hope. Um, but at least you know what's coming on the, on the on the channel. Now this is my full fledged reviews. These are you know the 
the 20 to 1 hour full-fledged reviews that I like to do on my channel. Just kidding. Um, I'm trying to tone it down. I'm trying to get full-fledged reviews under 20 minutes. They gotta be. I'm cutting some fat. You're gonna notice that in the new year. Anyway, I'm not promising you guys anything, but <clears throat> as you guys know, if you follow me on Fragrance Guru uh, on Facebook or you're, you're following me on Twitter and stuff like that, you know that this is my next full-fledged review on my channel, Yoke Jump. This is pretty much the end of the summer spring fragrance lineup. I decided to go with one designer at the end of it and then go into my fall lineup. Now my fall lineup, this is not in order. I'm gonna try to make it in order. I know that one of them has been on, actually several of these have been on here for, on that test or that uh, Q list for probably two, three years. I'm not lying, they've been waiting. So I'm happy that they're in the lineup. And I'm expecting to review like a badass in the next few uh, <laughs> next few months. Anyway, um, so these guys, again, um, I'd love to hear the comments below what you guys think of the lineup. Which ones are you most excited about on my channel? You can do a top three if you'd like. I'd like to see where the excitement stems from on my channel. Um, you can be completely honest with me. You say that lineup is junk. You tell it to me. You put it in the comments below. You're like, I'm looking forward to none of those reviews, Mark. You suck. And then you're going to name the obvious top three that everybody wants me to review. Aventus, Bleu de Chanel, and I don't know what else that you guys want me to review. But anyway, um, this is what I'm working on. That's a lie. I'm not working on it. But um, this is the fragrances that I want to review. And end of September, October. So let's get into the list. I'm going to let you guys know. Um, as usual, it's kind of split with uh, designer niche. My next designer is Yoke Jump. Then I'm going to go with this guy. He's been oh, <laughs> Avignon by Comme des Garçons. Um, incense based fragrance. Ooh, if you're a fan of churchy incense, this is going to be a review you'd want to watch. Um, I loved testing this fragrance. And for fall and winter, <sighs> This has a possibility of hitting the perfect 10 club. I'm telling you right now, Avignon by Comme des Garçons. So that one is next. I'm excited about that review, very. After that, we got a Prada fragrance. Um, I've had this for a while. Um, this is Infusion de Vetiver by Prada. Uh, I've been, uh, if you're a fan of my channel, I've actually been uh, kicking tires on this one, saying on basically how crappy it is. Um, so we'll see if it sticks to that. We'll see if I stick to my guns uh, with all the testing I've done. Uh, we'll see how Prada Infusion de Vetiver does on the review. Next. Um, next one is from the house of Serge Dutin. Uncle Serge, always uh, a good review on my channel. I haven't really done too many Serge Dutin fragrances. Um, a lot of them are in the testing phase. A lot of them are just waiting to get reviewed. This is Borneo 1834. Uh, this one, very much a daring scent from the house of Uncle Serge. Um, one that I'm excited to let you guys know. And as you can see, a lot of these bottles, you can see that testing has been completed. Usually a good 10 mils is missing from the bottle. Next is from the house of Paco Rabanne. And this is, uh, I did Ultraviolet Man, and now I'm going to review Ultra Red Man. Um, so uh, one that's really, this is, you know, these the, the stapler gun of the Paco Rabanne brand. Um, those two fragrances, not really discussed that much. So those kind of reviews, I know they're not going to get many hits as far as YouTube goes. I don't care, I just love reviewing, as you guys know. Um, and anything that's obscure or people don't really want to see. Um, those are the kind of reviews that I really love talking about just because there's not much talk about it. Um, so this is going to help people that really are into fragrances like that to see what it what it's all about. Coffee. Lastly, from the house of L'Artisan Parfumeur, um, this is Ambre Extreme. So an amber based fragrance. Um, can we try to actually review this? Again, another brand that I have, like, over a dozen bottles from the brand. This in Cell Street Town, you're going to see a lot of reviews on my channel just because I own so many bottles from the brand. Um, it's just ridiculous. Uh, and I think I only have, like, one or two reviews from the brand, from each. 
I think Serge, I only reviewed Chergy, I think. And L'Artisan, I think, is only T for two. Again, I think. <laughs> So let me know in the comments below. Let me know, you know, you can even do a top five list, see which ones are you're the most excited about. I like to see this feedback. Give me this feedback. Um, you can also include Yolk Jump if you want, um, even though it's uh, more on the, on the summer side of things. Um, you can put that one at the end of the list if you wish. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'd like to see, you know, top list. Um, the ones that you're excited about, you can just put one or two or none. You can tell me, nope, Review something else. I'm not excited about that lineup. I will uh, not be tuning in on the Robes Away channel until uh, November, December then. <laughs> um, so again, yeah, these are the full-fledged reviews. Again, I'm going to have other stuff coming on the channel, top 20s, things like that, sampling samples as usual. Um, working on a lot of stuff for the channel. Um, I got, uh, I've got, I've received a huge amount of samples in the mail in the past like few uh, months. So I'm going to be doing not sampling samples, but something else as far as these samples go, just because it's from uh, friends, parfumiers. Um, I purchased a whole bunch. So watch out for a video like that. I think I'm going to uh, tell you guys what I received. And uh, you guys can let me know what you guys are excited to see from me from the sampling side of things. So thanks for watching. I can't wait to see the comments. Which one are you the most excited about? I'm personally... I'm most excited about it, Avignon to let you guys know about it just because that is the one that uh, really is a showstopper and uh, I'm excited to let you guys know about it. Um, Avignon, not too many reviews on YouTube about Avignon which is surprising and a lot of these that I'm talking about really don't have that. Getting long. I'm cutting out. See you guys later. Carmen. Carmen. Hello. Thanks for watching YouTube.